What is plagiarism and how can you avoid it? Plagiarism is a type of academic misconduct that occurs when you fail to provide credit for another person's words or ideas. It's also unacceptable to submit work that consists of quotes and ideas stitched together from other people, with few or no insights of your own, even if you do cite all your sources. So, you can avoid plagiarizing by making sure to provide proper citations for all your sources and by ensuring that the majority of your work consists of your own original ideas. But what do we mean by proper citations? Proper citations will be accurate and complete. Both the in-text citations that you include in the body of your paper and at the end in your list of references. If you're not sure how to format your citations, click the gray Citation Guides link on the CAPU Library homepage to find our Cited Guide. What to cite is really straightforward in theory, but can be confusing when you're in the middle of writing your paper, so here are a few examples. If you directly quote, summarize, or paraphrase another person's words or ideas, you have to cite them. Simply changing or rearranging someone's words doesn't mean that you can take credit for them. You also have to cite yourself if you use work from a previous assignment. Note, many instructors don't permit students to use past work, so always check first. Don't worry, you don't have to cite every word in your paper. For example, you don't have to cite statements of general knowledge. General knowledge is the sort of information that the average person would know, such as the sky is blue. You also don't have to cite your own original words or ideas. However, beware the perils of bad record keeping. By the end of your assignment, it might be difficult to remember that one of your brilliant ideas actually came from someone else. So be meticulous about keeping track of your sources right from day one. So to recap, plagiarism is when you use someone else's words or ideas and fail to give them credit. You can avoid plagiarizing by making sure to keep track of all your sources and citing them fully and accurately. Finally, make sure that your work consists primarily of your own ideas and insights. If you patch together a series of quotes and ideas from other scholars, you can't call the final result your work. This is all really important but not just because the consequences to your grades and academic standing can be severe. As a student researcher, it's important to develop and maintain ethical practices that you'll carry forward in life and so that you can be a legitimate contributor to the exchange of information and ideas known as scholarly communication. In this tutorial, we've taken a brief look at plagiarism and how to avoid it. If you have further questions, call us, email, drop by or chat with a librarian on the Provincial Ask Away chat reference service. To find our help options, go to the help menu on the library homepage and click Ask a Librarian.